Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you follow me on Snapchat, you'll know that I often will post about new products that I have received to um, review or post about um, or just try out. And honestly, sometimes I get sent so many, which I'm so grateful for, but sometimes I get so many that I can't put them on Snapchat. Snapchat physically does not have enough time for me to upload these products. And in fact, when I tried filming this video before, even YouTube does not have enough time for me to show you all of these products. It can be pretty crazy. So what I've done, because I have tried filming this video a couple of times now, what I have done is I've collected um, all the stuff that I've been sent over the past like two or three weeks. And I've got a little curated collection here of all the things that I'm either really excited to try or things that I've been given um, that I have tried before and that I love. I just want you to know that I am by no means showing off or trying to show off these products to you or the fact that I get sent products. It is a part of my job to try new products, know about new products on the market and even review those products. Um, so basically they're sent to me so that I have as much knowledge as possible about beauty and about beauty products so that I can then share that knowledge with you. And I just hope that me showing you this gets you as excited about these products as I am. That's all there is to it and let's get into the video. If you're a subscriber of mine, you will know seriously how obsessed I am with Charlotte Tilbury's Light Wonder Foundation. It is my everyday go-to. I love it so much. It's super dewy, light but buildable coverage. I often use it on clients. Recently, I was sent the new Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I am very excited to try this one. I've heard that it's a little bit thicker than the Light Wonder, um, but still quite a similar consistency. So this one I'm really excited about and I might have a new favorite. I've also received a couple of new highlighters which I thought I would share with you. I have here this one from Dior. It is called the Dior Skin Nude Air Glowing Gardens in Glowing Pink. Wow, that is a mouthful. And this one here is the Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in Pink Glow. Um, a little easier to remember that name. So actually I might show you what they look like um, on the back of my hand. Considering how different they actually look in the packaging, they look pretty similar on my hand. The top one here is the Dior and the bottom one is the Bobbi Brown. They're both very pearlescent. Um, I would say the Dior is slightly more obvious than, oh, yeah, it's probably slightly more obvious than the Bobbi Brown. Really similar consistency, um, quite velvety. Yeah, pretty beautiful highlights. I have also received this little baby here from Benefit. This is called the Pore Professional Instant Wipeout Masks. So I don't think I have super noticeable pores, so I don't often use their Pore Professional Primer um, on myself personally. I do use it in my makeup kit a lot, but I don't often use pore refining products on myself. However, the other day my friend Ash came over and we decided to try these. Um, note to self, definitely follow the instructions well because I started pressing on this thing right here when I didn't have the cloth up to it and I squirted the product all over Ash. Um, I found it really funny. I don't know if she did. Um, so definitely read the instructions well before trying it. But I have to tell you, I noticed a huge huge difference when I use this. I basically applied it here um, in this area kind of over my nose. I really only noticed my pores here and my skin looked airbrushed. It was insane. I was actually really blown away. It kind of cured a problem that wasn't a huge problem to me which is kind of amazing. So I would highly recommend trying these if you have um, large or noticeable pores because that baby is a life changer. This here is another product that I'm super excited to use on myself. I also went to a, oops, I have lipstick on my finger. <laughs> Just ignore the lipstick there. Um, I also went to a Smashbox event a couple of weeks ago. So basically for the event, we did um, a photo shoot. So we had our makeup done, then we had our hair done, and then we had our photo taken by Davis Factor, who is the creator of Smashbox. He has Smashbox Studios in LA, and he also has Smashbox, the brand. And this 
Photo Finish Primer Oil was used on my skin and you know that I'm obsessed with oils so an oil that can actually be used as a primer is awesome. It doesn't make your makeup run off which I guess is kind of what you would assume putting oil on your face before makeup. Um, it still helps makeup to last longer. Genius. I've also been lucky enough to be completely decked out with all new Zoeva products which is awesome because I'm a huge fan of the brand. So I've got this beauty here. This is a, um, I guess this is a grey. My light's a little funny in here. But a grey and rose gold Zoeva clutch. And inside I got these beautiful brushes. I'm actually really excited about this because I haven't owned Zoeva face brushes before. I do own eye brushes, so I'm excited to have some base ones. I'm particularly excited about the fan brush because... If you guys have seen my videos, you'll know that I always use an It Cosmetics fan brush. I can't find it anywhere online. So every time someone asks me, I'm like, I don't know, I can't find it. I've tried so hard to find it. So I promise that I will now start to use this little baby. So in case you need a new fan brush and you're looking at my videos thinking, where can I get that from? It will from now on be a Zoeva fan brush. And it's beautiful rose gold. Also from Zoeva, I was lucky enough to get a few eyeshadow and a cheek palettes which I'm also really excited about. This one is the warm spectrum, this one is the cool spectrum. How stunning are these colors? I'll give you a little close-up. So this is the cool spectrum, this is the warm spectrum, this is the nude spectrum which as you can see I have already been using. As soon as I saw it I was like let me use it. I need this in my life right now. I'll show you what the pigments like. It's insane. It is so beautiful. I adore this palette and I'm really excited to use those ones too. Kiehl's also reached out to me this month and so I was super excited when they sent a few goodies for me to try. I have heard so much about the brand and in particular this product here which is called the Midnight Recovery Concentrate which I guess is like a serum or an oil. I haven't actually tried it yet just because um, I've been finishing up my Ulla Henriksen oil, but actually that's on its last leg, which I'm really sad about. Um, but I will try this one, um, now that that's run out. And I really have heard so many good reviews about this, so I think I'm going to love it. This is another product that I'm super duper excited about. Cotton on Body have, well, actually they're just about to release their botanicals range. Um... And basically, this is a beauty range that they've created. They have uh, body washes, body lotions, this is a body oil, and it is toasted coconut flavor. And let me tell you, it is delicious. It is so, so good to smell. I might just have a little smell now while I'm here. It literally just smells like a tropical holiday. It is stunning. I actually don't know uh, what the retail price for this is, but Cotton On Body, it's going to definitely be affordable, but it's actually a really beautiful range. I think they've really done their research before heading into the beauty market, and the products are just yummy. Like, they're really, really nice. These, I'm also super... I feel like I'm saying this about everything, but I'm also really excited about these. These are the Tartiste... Is that how you say it? I don't know. I hope I'm not butchering the name. Um, these are basically lip paints by Tarte. I'm also a really big fan of Tarte. I'm so glad that Sephora now has them in Australia. Um, they make beautiful products. I've had a Tarte lip and cheek tint for basically my whole career. And I probably have told you guys this before, but it is like so beaten up, the packaging, that it lives in a glad bag. Because all the pack, it's so old that all the packaging is like broken and, but the product's still great. Isn't that weird? Anyway, I'm super excited about these. They have really cute names. So I'm going to do a little swatch on my um, forearm for you so you can see what the colors look like. Okay, I'll be honest, things got a little out of control. My entire forearm is now covered. Okay, so these are the colors here. We have Namaste, which is this one here. I wear this all the time um, when I'm going out. It just goes with everything. This right here is TBT, another favorite of mine. This one here is called So Fetch. Love that, So Fetch. This one here is Adorbs. 
This one here is called Twerk. This one here is called Love Spell. Then we have Hangry. Whoops, there. <laughs> then we have Bay. Whoops, there. <laughs> then here we have Frenemy. And lucky last, we have Yes. So these actually dry to be quite matte, but still a creamy consistency. They're not um, a thin matte texture. They're quite a thick, creamy matte texture. And the last product that I'm really, really, really excited about is the one that's on my lips right now. The one that you've been looking at this entire time. Hopefully liking the look of it because I love it. This is the brand new Kylie Cosmetics in Coco K. I love these lip products. I actually have a couple and I'm getting a couple more. So I didn't want to do a proper swatching video yet. Stay tuned when I get some more colors. That is exactly what will be coming your way. So that's it. That's all the products um, that I'm really excited to try. Well, actually, it's not all. It's a curation of the products that I'm really excited to try. Uh, thank you so much to all of the brands that have sent me products to try and review. I'm really excited to try all of these products that I haven't tried already, so stay tuned. You'll probably see them in videos or on Snapchat or Instagram. I would love to hear what you guys would like to see next from me, and I will see you very soon in the next video.